So here is a perfect example of why doing these daily vlogs is really difficult. The one time I didn't check a video is the time where the last three minutes didn't render. So I've had it ready up. I've had it scheduled for so tomorrow morning, which will be the 20, well, today, today morning, which is 22nd of April. Just there. So I'm now having to re-render the whole video and then I'm gonna have to be up to make sure that it's ready for you guys at eight o'clock in, in the morning. The, like literally for the last 28 or 29 days, I've checked every time and it's rendered absolutely fine. The one time I just, I, I check on a whim because I'm waiting to transfer files across is the time when the fucking file didn't render properly. I mean, it's happened before, but that's because I've been doing it in the same night, so I've watched it back and it hadn't rendered. <sighs> Never have I had something ready for like possibly nearly two days now, and it's not been ready to go up the last second. So I am not only rendering the video for this morning that you're you won't be watching it on this morning, but the, the morning of the day that I exist in right now. I fucking have to then upload the one for the 23rd. And my internet is so bad. So I've got to wait for that to finish uploading before I can even upload the next one. So I probably won't be going to bed till six o'clock and I've got to be up at eight, well, half seven. But I'm gonna get an extra half hour. <laughs> Fuck. Like, I love doing this, don't get me wrong, but sometimes it's just, why have you not done exactly what you were meant to be doing? It's just, ugh. that's why I got the computer. I'm still using the laptop because the, well, I needed my VAT number actually to get the, a lot of the software I wanted for the rig, which I couldn't get because I wasn't at work. So I've got today, got all the VAT numbers, etc. So I've downloaded it all to the rig and I thought I'll just use the laptop one more time. Good job I did because if I wasn't using the laptop I probably wouldn't have checked that video. Two o'clock and I'm having to, in, in the morning, I'm having to start something that I would normally start at 10 or 11. So I'm really behind. <sighs> Jaws of YouTube, you know? Okay, so I had to cancel that upload because it stopped. Literally just then, it's now, you can tell by that clock there. Um, the video still hasn't finishing, finished rendering. It's constant like this. Okay, today is a bit different because I don't normally have two videos ready to go at one time, but when I think I'm ahead, that's when everything just fucks up. Been on 98% for about 10 minutes now. Thank fuck it actually rendered this time. I'm going to put it up for schedule and hopefully there are no hiccups along the way. So hopefully it will be out tomorrow at 8am. If it's not, I'm not explaining to you why. Just transport, started to transport um, mine and Lydia's Q&A over and that says 42 gigabytes. There's <laughs> so much editing to do there. Just a quick sign note, if you guys would like to follow me on Facebook, I'm on there as well, I'll leave my link below. Also, my new, lab, new laptop, my new PC is here, so I will also put my Twitch links below, and also all the equipment I use is also linked below in the Amazon linky things. Technical term there, um, I don't really want to um, confuse you guys, but yeah, linky things is a real word. Typical me, spends thousands on a PC rig, still uses old laptop. <laughs> oh, you, I'm using it. What? what are you doing? That was difficult for you, wasn't it? Yes, because my headband was going to fall down. You wonder why I'm mean to you all the time. What do you mean you wonder why I'm mean to me all the time? You just filmed me putting my jumper on and it was difficult because my headband. I've only just started filming you in the last two, three weeks. You, you've just been mean, full stop. Yeah, but what happens when the camera's not running? Hmm? You ever think about that? The constant abuse? So stupid. Five plus five. Go on. See, can I, basic maths, can't answer that question. Right, so we're gonna do some opening here. One of them's for Lydia. Oh, 
We don't know where Brandon High Street is, Paul. No idea where that is. If you're, if you're going to send something in, which I say, suggest don't, but if you are, I'm going to put the address on the bottom because it's possible that someone has tried to send something in the past that's never reached us because of the addresses and they're like literally once. Like this one as well. The old tannery, that's nearly a quarter mile down that way. Yeah, someone, because the guy who knows where he's delivered, he saw it and he put it in here. Yeah, so if we get a delivery driver that's not used to the area, we don't know. Do you want to open yours first? No, it's okay, you do. I want to see what's in the tenor's box. We don't know what's in the tenor's box. We'll open them, see, let's see. Chin and Toto and Chew. Chin, Chew and Toto. Do you, do, do you want to open that one? Yeah, more? okay. So this Toto is it's a star now. <laughs> you should bring him in. No, I'm not into the kitchen, mum. <laughs> in the house, I mean. A mask, is it? What is it? Oh, yellow. Yellow! Oh, carrot sides! Oh, oh. Carrot I didn't thought that. Oh, that's nice. That's cute. That is cute. Carrot side in. Toto, meow, 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 meow. Catnip like for oh, you. Like oh, you absolute legend. Oh. He's a Patreon and he's bought he bought four of our books in a row for Christmas presents. Oh, totally likes it. Yeah, I can't wait. I'll, I'll yeah. video him trying this tonight, yeah? Yeah. 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 Um, oh. we'll do this one as well. If it's if this is from Catnip Like Poor as well, oh. I bet it's a whiskey. Mm. Yummy. So we've got to keep some some alcohol to Totoy. No, Mum! <laughs> <laughs> Get him high and drunk. Yeah. Oh! The, 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 Ian Fury. What? Sex, and rock and roll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a song I was talking about. Ian Fury. Someone's from Chris from a Brainer, who is also a cabinet like Paul, I think. Chin and Chew, keep up the amazing work you were doing. Oh God, I cannot fucking read. Hey, let me, give me a second. Chin and Chew, keep up the amazing work you were all doing. Hope you enjoy this treat. Not gin, I know, but thought you might both need a change from potato based products. <laughs> Catnip like pork. Oh, is it? Yeah. What it is it? Like oh, 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 black cow vodka. Oh. This stuff I think is made from milk. Is it? I black think so. Cow? Purely from milk. Can you drink it? Black cow vodka? Yeah. It's made from milk. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no uh, lactose, isn't it? Lactose. Yeah. <laughs> Locto. That is really cool. Oh, all right. Oh, can I have it? Thank you very much for that. Thank you. Yeah, that's cool. West Dorset. What is this here? Mm. Not Suitable far. for people with lactose intolerant and it's also gluten free. Oh, all right. Pure this one doesn't, this one doesn't have a name on it. Oh, oh, oh. oh. oh he's you get a bloody. Justin. Grumpy cat, yeah. yeah. <laughs> to the cat who didn't give a shit. We love you, mate, yeah. from Justin. <laughs> Justin sent over the, um, I think it was the Scottish gin, wasn't oh. it? Muff gin. No, that was Chris. Oh, that cat. Cardondon. Cardoda. But yes. Yeah. And um, as you don't like getting gifts, here's one for the cat. <laughs> Just <laughs> absolute legend. Oh, Look yeah. at him, he's gonna. Oh, I can't wait to see if Toto attacks that. Oh, so cute. This one looks grumpy as a uh, Toto. Yeah, Toto is a grumpy cat. Though. Yeah. That's grumpy mouse. Cheers for that, Justin. I'll Thank keep, you, I want, Justin. I'll leave these notes because I want to put them yeah. into a, like a collage. And now for Ladia. Ladia! <laughs> Can you open it? The one to stick posh, is it? Ladia. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's better than Lidl's. <laughs> yeah. Do you know the first time I introduced my um, Lydia to my auntie, they were in Taunton because we bumped into them with mum. And mum went to my auntie, this is uh, Lydia, no. No, Lydia, no. Lidl's! <laughs> this is Lidl's! <laughs> Bearing in mind we've known each other for at least two years by that time. <laughs> Ooh! That's lovely. Running duck reserve, Malbec. Oh. Very nice. There's no... I who it's from though. Well, thanks. Whoever it's from, very much appreciated. It's a nice ball, isn't it? It is a nice ball. And it's got the... Let's do it, so it's a... They didn't put a note in there. No, there's no note. Mysterious notes. gift giver. Thank you. How do they know he's here then? Brandon Brown High Down. Street. I've never even, I don't know where Brown Down is. Maybe there's another Lydia in Brown Down High Street. Oh, can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not giving her a line. <laughs> I mean, that'll be gone by tonight. So. <laughs> what do you mean tonight? 
like, I mean, it's like, what, four o'clock now? I can do it now. It's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, whoever it was. You got it today, is it? No, yesterday. yesterday. I think I might know who this was from. Yeah. Yeah, but. Money duck. Imagine if it is. Never mind. Oh, well. <laughs> Look. Maybe ask somebody. Yeah, we'll ask somebody. Yeah, we'll ask somebody. So if it is, we'll just send it back with an empty bottle. Yeah, so by the time you guys watch this, we would have asked and I put up <laughs> if there was a. Put some rhyme in there, mate. Right? Oh! <laughs> Sweet! Right. Sweet wine, yeah. Thank you very much for this. And Thank the, you. The total fun. stuff. He got me so happy, man. Yeah. I hope that's not really smelly. I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be real sardines with catnip. Oh yeah. I just don't think you would put it in that packaging if it wasn't potential for leaving. Mm. I'll put it in that one. Well, just the fancy ones. Yeah. 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 We'll do that at home in case it smells. Right. Well, we can't do it now because he's not here. Yeah. Didn't he? So we got some milk. <laughs> milk vodka. Yeah, I mean, Black it's made cow. purely from milk. I got. Look a at you! It's blown your mind, hasn't it, Darren? I got a delightful bottle of wine. Hey, your quackers. I really like the um, the little duck on it. I love ducks. Yeah. They're so cute. Well, Especially, you like eating duck as well, don't you? I know, you? but these ones, like, if I ever, if we ever had the chance to get rich enough to live on a farm, I'd have a shit ton of these because I just think they're incredible. I just love watching them. I'd eat them. a shit ton of those. I can mm. see invisible hands just it's like... It's dinner, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And then Toto got some, some drugs. Who's Toto? Toto is a cat. You dare question who Toto is. I don't mind her touching me. Just in case you guys don't know, Darren is actually gay. We're brothers. So I hope to God we're not related. <laughs> but like, I'm not. Why like, do you need to help me? Because you're being a little weirdo with my girlfriend. You. Uh, girlfriend. Fiance, sorry, I'm in trouble now. Oop, bye. Oh. <laughs> Today started off pretty well actually. I got four, three orders in, so I'm happy about that. Not brilliant orders, but at least it's something. Uh, more than yesterday, we didn't get a single order until about half five. It's now half five, and we really had three. So we just um. We're experimenting because we've got a spare like 10 minutes and we try to make salt and pepper chili chips a quick way. So all we really did was deep fry the vegetables and then mix them in with the chips in the bag and sprinkle some of the seasoning on it. It just isn't the same. You, the, the MSG has to be cooked off for there to be any decent flavour. So, so we're going to knock that one on the head. We just don't have enough cookers to be able to do that properly. It was a nice idea. There were several other different seasoned chips we could do, but that was one that I would, would have liked to put on, but we, we just, we're just not going to be able to. No, no, I'll get loads of suggestions on what to do, um, and I'll read them all, but chances are I've probably thought of every, uh, all of them underneath the sun. One of them I did have, I was just going to call them Chinese dirty fries. So then what we would do is we'd mince up roast duck, crispy roast duck, put that on the top, then melt some cheese, pour that over the top, then sprinkle more duck, chili flakes, and then drizzle in like a plum sauce reduction thing. That is something we could never do in there at this moment in time, it's just too chaotic. This kind of food, you can't do something like that. Well you can, but to a degree that I would like to do it to. So yeah, I've got loads of things like that that I could put into, onto the menu, but they need to be, for now, cheap, quick, and won't hold us up too much. Right, so I was just thinking. You do actually have an order. I forgot about that. Right, so before I even begin, I just want to do a quick disclaimer because I know even me saying this disclaimer is going to get someone's back up. It does. It's not mean, meant to. I really love when people will give me advice because I like to listen to their advice and see if I can actually use it because there's nothing more sincere than someone trying to help you out. So if you've ever offered me advice before, I'm not talking to you and even if I've off, you've offered me advice and I've gone I've already thought of that blah 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 again please still if you can think of anything please comment below and if I thought of it before I'll go I've already tried it didn't work uh, or that's a brilliant idea thank you very much I really appreciate it all there are just a couple of suggestions that actually one in particular that always pisses me off but I never because I know they're trying to help most of the time sometimes people are just being dicks because they can't get what they want I'll explain it after I see what it is so our wear shop, we can be so busy in the summer that we sell out before five o'clock. We used to open till eight, and then during the summer holidays, we were actually finding out it was us, us all completely sold out by half three. And everything was gone. So we reduced our hours, and then we used to get people coming to the shop going, why don't you go past five, you'd make more money. We sell out of everything before five, when we used to open till eight, no one, we, we, we would just be sitting there telling people to go, and the confusion on people's faces was fantastic. Why don't you open and 
later. Well, because we used to. Bearing in mind, they, they probably don't know who we are. They know us from Adam. They have no clue. I'm pretty sure I would have thought of that before. Now, the reason I'm not swearing, effing, and jeffing because most of the time they're genuinely trying to help out and it doesn't bother me too much. One that does bother me though is the one where, and even when people are trying to help, this does irritate me. And again, I understand that they're just trying to help most of the time, so I always reply in a very nice manner. It does get my back up is when I say we, we sell out quite early, so therefore we close quite early. And then they go, so why don't you just buy more food in? Oh my God, like literally one in three people will say that. And I've heard that for the last four years. Do not think, <laughs> Now this is where I am going to start to sweat. Do you not fucking think I would have fucking thought of that? Who knew that if I bought more shit in, I'd be able to sell more? Fucking hell. Like, you are a, a genius. You've, you've just sold it. Now, world hunger, how should we deal with that? Fucking hell. No, of course I would have bought more in. Uh, the, 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 the best part, though, is when I explain, well, our fridges are full and we sell out of, of them all. Um, and they go, well, why don't you get more fridges? open kitchen can you see any space for any fridges no yeah that's why we don't have any more fridges so <laughs> thank you for, suge for your suggestion and thinking i'm a complete fucking idiot but that is why i just it, it, it really does irritate me why why don't you buy more what do you mean why don't i buy more i just why do you think i wouldn't you with zero experience in a f catering i assume because most people don't could have that was your first thing you thought of. Of course someone who's been doing it pretty much all his life is gonna have thought of that first, isn't he? Jesus. <laughs> the reason I was put that disclaimer across is because I really don't want you guys to stop giving me ideas and suggestions because you can always improve, you can always get better and the second you stop believing or listening to people or even trying to take advice is the second you start to fail. And when you start to fail, it's very difficult to get back up. It's just the way life is, but I really do appreciate all of your comments and helping because I really do understand that most of the time people are just trying to help. You often get the odd dicky comment, which is like, well, why haven't you done that then? <laughs> Ooh la la. Actually, genuinely thank you to everyone who's been helping. I can't think of anyone, sorry. Please don't stop commenting and trying to help. It's just that one, that those two particular things. Well, why don't you open later? And uh, the, why don't you buy more food in? Thank you, thank you, genius. Right, so I've been told there's going to be at least five week delay on the books. They've started printing them already because they've only been back open again for just under two weeks and they had a one and a half months worth of orders to send out. They've managed to catch up two weeks, which is, I think, fairly impressive. I don't know how they managed to do that, but possibly they already started printing those beforehand. That's really good of them. People keep asking me when am I going to have them and I just really don't no i really hate it but look i can tell people are starting to get frustrated but it's really not my fault it's really getting me down as well because i really i just i feel awful that i'm telling people this and then i get another message saying it's going to be a little bit longer and then who knows what customs is going to be like when it gets here who knows what restrictions are going to be in place it could be held up even longer but looking like about five weeks at the moment Right, I wasn't gonna fucking rant today, but this is just really fucking pissed me off. This guy called Tommy, right? Now, thank you very much for donating 11 pounds to me. I didn't fucking know you had done that because it was via PayPal. We don't go through every day the PayPal transactions because we get a fucking lot. That's done on a fortnightly basis, okay? So I had no fucking idea you had fucking sent it through, you twat, and then you come in there and say, do you mind, do you not think it's a good idea for me to say thank you? When I found out you had done that, I would have fucking said thank you, you fucking dick. Go fuck yourself. And they said, give it back. So I sent it back and I've just told him, thanks for the understanding, fuck off, wanker. Well, what a knob. Yeah, what an actual knob. I'm fucking livid. Do you, do you think we just sit here all day and stare at the fucking computer screen and... I mean... I'm gonna send this video to him as well, you fucking prick. We get up every day and start early. We're not just sitting there doing computer work. We're prepping food, we're buying food. We're traveling like three hours to get food because no one around here is open so we have to travel and pick it up. And then we travel back and then we have to come here and then unload it all and then go back home. And by that time it's so late that we can't even eat dinner so we go to bed. Sorry, a knob. What a fucking prick. What an absolute... Ab oh, if, you, if you ever watch this, like, fuck off, unsubscribe. I don't want you here. I do originally, I do really appreciate the fact that you donated that and thought that was a nice thing because that was a lovely thing to do. But then to think that I've just ignored you, piss off. And if that's your reaction to someone who is 
it's really busy. Like I'm not, I run a fucking online web store as well as a restaurant, as well as do daily vlogs, as well as another channel with 77,000 subscribers on it. Oh, and also when you think you get like nearly a hundred orders a day, you're not gonna like on the web store, you're not gonna check through every paper. That's what I just said that. It's a fortnightly oh, thing. I've just said that. What what a fucking dickhead. No, no, no one checks the um, transactions every day unless you're a massive company and then a computer does it for you or you're small and you can you've got the time to. I've literally got like four jobs to do in one day. You've got your one job to do on one day and you probably can't even handle that properly, you fucking prick. Maybe just, uh, oh, hey guys, um, I sent you um, something the other day. Maybe you haven't seen it yet, but just if you want to have a little check up, what normal people do, yeah. how to go about it. Yeah, not a fucking them. twat. Not what the fuck as a header. Yeah, dickhead. Absolutely. Um, to be fair, he might have done this just to get this rise out of me. Which oh. makes you an even bigger wanker. Yeah. I've just, I've, I've just, I just typed that, um, the dressing and have it blocked completely from all the platforms. Yeah, because you're so a So fuck knob. you. Yeah. Fucking fuming at that. What a shitty thing to do. Shit bloke. Shit bloke. Shit bloke. Genuinely angry about that. <laughs> what a fucking prick. I'm gonna go to PayPal and find out their last name. That will help me ban them as well. I nearly called him the see you next Tuesday word. I nearly went, this guy's a f well, that's he, If he's done that to get a rise out of you, he is. And if he hasn't done it to get a rise out of you and he's being serious, he still is. Oh, Megaly, even more so. If it's trying to get a rise, he's just trying to get a rise. But if this is how this person actually thinks in real life, this is the kind of person with a constant chip on the shoulder and wonders why life won't hand them anything because they're a fucking prick. I've just looked back and the, he, he sent it across on the 19th. It's now the 22nd. That's three fucking days you've given me. What a prick. What, did you explain a nice email just, or, or an email just saying, hi, I don't know this. Yeah. I would never have seen that. And there isn't anything... I don't think anybody ever goes through... Yeah, they their, do. No, like payments daily. No, you can't when you're, when you, when you're, well, when you're as busy as us. stuff to do. But like, just even... I'm just looking here. And also, why would you assume it was a gift as well? There's nothing there. To, there's nothing fucking there that says it's a gift. Like, to, to you, looking through that, you would just think that's someone buying from the online website. Hold on, let me see. I've just clicked what looks like it could be messages. Welcome to me. There's nothing there. I can't even view the transaction. That's really annoying. There's nothing there to say that what it is either. It just says payment from blah blah. I've had no message. So I wouldn't have even been able to fucking know what it was for in the first place. Place, you fucking prick. What a fucking tosser. Right, so um, I had to really search for the note on this. The, the PayPal system is shit. I couldn't find any note on there because I was looking, I was going to have a go at him and it doesn't tell me anything. And it doesn't. I had to really go through and, he, and click on his name to um, get any sort of note. And it said, hi, I like the channel. Have a drink on me, buy some seafood. I am a chef as well. Right, if you're a fucking chef, you know how Busy you can be, you fucking asshole. I'm glad, just fuck off. Order's just come in, but if he replies and apologizes, he can go fuck himself, honestly. That is so unbelievably disrespectful. He can go fuck himself. So we've just got back and after we've all got ready, what you call it, after work, we're gonna go and give Tolo his presents to see how he re reacts to them. Like, you lovely man. Also massive thank you for the um, gifts. Yeah, thank awesome. You. It's awesome. What, um, um, no matter what I say, it's obvious that people are still going to give us some gifts, which is fantastic. So what I'll do is I'll just put the address to send everything below. It's just amazing. Thank you very much. It's really, honestly, and I hate saying it because it sounds so pretentious, but it's genuinely humbling. But like, it actually is. Not like I walked up the side of Everest and it was humbling. But like, genuinely, it's like I'm so grateful. Thank you. Thank you. She's a prick. So we couldn't get told a man when we wanted to. So he's been a little shithead. He just wants to be outside at the moment. The only time we don't want him to be inside. We want him to be inside and not outside. <coughs> Actually, that's every second we want him to be inside. It's kind of like total man. He not, he, he's nobody's. He's nobody's fool, he isn't. He's, he's a man who likes to walk up and down the street. And then... I have done this voice. I went searching for Tuller Man the other day. Okay. <laughs> Lydia was worried I'd come across as crazy. No. Too fucking late, I think. <laughs> so editing the, the video, question and answer. I haven't had Tommy Boy reply yet. He can go fuck himself, can't he? 
Well, I think that's about it. Uh, a couple of you have said you definitely prefer the longer videos, and uh, it's just sometimes I don't have that much to say. I know, weird, right? Sometimes I leave things out because I feel they'd be boring. It's because I'm editing this Q&A, it's taking forever. So there's a lot of my time going into doing that. So I want to keep the videos sh editing for the daily vlogs quite short. Okay, so Tommy has messaged back. Too late, Tommy. He said, he basically, messaged back. I got things are um, big for you and hope you're doing great. Go fuck yourself. You, are, you really, I don't care about you anymore. I suggest a way to respond quickly so people will give you money. If you're really, isn't meant to sound like it, but if you're just looking for praise for donating to us, I'll always say thank you, but I, I've got to do it in my own time, mate. Like, this guy obviously can't grasp what's going on. Things are big for you right now. They're not big for me. They're fucking mental, mate. You fucking idiot. They're mental because of everything that's fucking going on and I'm having to do loads of fucking shit. In fact, I'm t I don't know how he's found that because I'm, I'm sure I took that donation thing off my videos. I'm gonna have to go through all my videos again. You're not really meant to be able to donate. <laughs> I took that off ages ago because I just felt it was a bit cheeky. So I stopped fucking doing it. So I don't know, even know. It's probably an obscure video. Or maybe sometimes YouTube likes to do this thing where you do something on it and then you find... And Facebook is really good for it as well. You change something and two days later you find out it never changed. But too fucking late, Tommy. Fuck off. I am not fucking happy with your response. Uh, it's just... this. You are being ignored I now. suggest you find a way to respond quickly to people giving you money gifts. Do... Uh, does your brain not work like people? He's obviously a twat, isn't he? Judging I by suggest his... you find... Okay, Tommy, so do you want to pay us to pay someone else to sit there at the fucking computer and just check through emails every two seconds? Okay, sure. Well, he, he couldn't donate enough for me to be able to afford it. What a fuck? That, that is just a ridiculous I thing mean... to say. And I really don't mean to sound ungrateful because he tried to donate some money and yeah, because I couldn't say before. thank you quick enough, he wanted it back, so I gave it back. Um, but what, I mean, what he's done there, he's obviously gone, oh shit, I've been a bit sort of over the top. So I'll say it's great, but I'll also make sure that I'm trying to help. No, it's fucking shit. He, he, he's he, not very bright. Yeah, well, I, I just think he's a fucking dickhead. I'll put the whole conversation up actually so you can pause it and then uh, read the whole thing. I'm not replying back to this. Um, Tommy, if you're watching this, you've been fucking blocked, so don't bother replying. The, the, uh, I just can't believe how much of a twat you are. <laughs> so that's it for today. Quite early, actually. We were busy earlier on, um, so we got to go away quite early. Got to clean down just before we started closing up, so that was good. I think the time is, what, about 10 o'clock? <sighs> So, oh, I know it's gonna be a long night for me as well, so. Oh wait, no, I've gotta check my PayPal payments now. Fuck off, Tommy. Like I said, I'm taking away that whole, I thought I took it away because I knew this might happen. I knew people wouldn't be able to understand. It made me actually quite emotional. I feel like crying a little bit then. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Remember to stay in, stay safe. This is the way, live long and fucking prosper. And finally, in my experience, there's no such thing as luck. I need the name of the character and the movie. That's about it for today. And tomorrow, I very much look forward. I thought that was Toto, but it's just my shoes. I got really excited then. Uh, so tomorrow, we will do Toto opening, uh, play, playing with his toys and whatever. I really hope he enjoys them, but he's ungrateful as fuck, so I doubt it. <laughs>